All right, Jasmine here with Star Card Tarot. Let the star guide you. Um, take the time to like, subscribe, and share. So I'm reading for Aquarius. Take the energies how it resonates. It is general. What I do see is that recently, your recent past, you have to harness the energy and the strength to get things back in balance with you, to get re uh, structure. I feel like maybe you were off balance. Maybe something was off balance. Uh, it could be your ascension, your spirituality. I am sensing that right now, especially moving into August, your spiritual, you are gaining confidence on your spiritual path and your spiritual journey. Um, I do see that here. I see that we're holding up the unknown and really living in that path okay so we are literally saying hey i'm walking on this path i'm confident in this path it's um it, it, it's a path that you may have fell off of a couple of times it's a path that you choose time and time again but in the recent past i feel like something could have probably came into your life and knocked you off it could have been perhaps like a a fire sign that came into your life leo sagittarius aries then you found balance as you feel Libra's energy. You could have had a Libra in your life that helped you find, find balance. Or you just decided, hey, I feel best at um, in, uh, on a spiritual level. I, I feel best in a mystical realm. Or I feel best uh, in like your goddess. Um, it's like you're going down a path. You chose a path that is unknown to you, but it's like the full card energy. I'm going to go down this path because I feel intuitively that this is the path I should go on. And it required a lot of strength to retrust yourself. You feel most comfortable going down a path of unknown instead of a path that you felt like you knew. You kind of knew that it, 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 it wasn't for you. I do sense here. And it's like, okay. I'm saying bye to my past. I'm shining the light on it. My past does exist. I learned it does exist. I learned valuable lessons from my past. And right now I'm choosing to move away from it. So let's see here. Let's get into the tarot. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Okay, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors, come down with probable messages for Aquarius. Um, please, please like, comment, subscribe, share. Alright, so you guys are coming out of a rest period here. Yeah. I feel like you guys are in the hangman position. Maybe there was negative energy around you and you had to defeat it by kind of going into a rest and meditation state. That's probably why the strength card is here. Due to that negative energy that I just seen, it required a lot of strength to take, stay away from it. Uh, a lot of times our past may show up and it reminds us, that the, it reminds us of the strength that we need to embody. Yeah. I feel like you guys had came out of a rest, like you guys had to heal your heart. I do feel like you guys just got done healing your heart, um, for sure. I feel like you guys, like before you took action back into what matters the most to you, maybe you're a mystical worker, a light worker, uh, very intuitive. You might have Pisces in your chart, Libra or Leo in your chart. But I do see here, you have Pisces energy both here. This card actually landed on top of each other. This is Pisces energy. This is someone who is in a meditative state, retrieving, um, building their confidence up to go on a new journey, okay? You could be going on a journey of a light worker, a journey of ascension, okay? You guys had to rest your mind. Um, so some of you guys' mind could have been going, 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 going. Then you lock down and you say, you know what? I am going to meditate. I'm going to focus. I'm going to rest and rejuvenate. I'm going to heal, okay? You guys could have done a lot of healing through self-love because I do see, like, there's flowers and a meth there's, a, there's um, flowers growing out of this heart. So you guys could have poured into yourself instead of pouring into other things that were not feeding you at a particular time. And that, my dear, does require strength. So big up to you. Okay, so you guys could have been trying to hold on to an idea of something, uh, hold on to some thoughts, some old agreements about you yourself. Um, you guys were 
trying to hold on to it. Maybe you guys were trying to hold on to a piece of information that you found true. Uh, you guys could have been tr trying to hold on to a fire sign or someone that showed up as a boss figure. You guys could have been dating someone that looked at themselves as a king. Someone that you had your eye on. But I also see that you went in within to go get answers. I feel like someone went in and um, they were able to see with the mind's eye what was really written for them. And I feel like you guys found out that what choice to make on the journey. So you guys just said, shine light on a journey in the past and said, you know, I'm gonna choose to move forward. I'm gonna choose to take control of my mind and my heart uh, and go with what's written in the books for me. Although we have choices and free will, a lot of our big moments are already pre-written for us. And it's the little choices that we make to get there. So I feel like you guys made a conscious choice uh, and I feel like it was in defense of your world here. Like you guys are defending your reality here by making a choice. It was like a stance. Like how about I'm gonna do this to show you how dedicated I am. I am getting here more information, please. Let's go ahead and clarify the sage card. Let's clarify the sage card. Let's clarify the sage card. Okay. So, I feel like there was something that you didn't want to end. Like I said, something you were holding on to. And I do feel like you got some information about it. Um, you guys could have been holding on something that potentially would have ended something else. These cards match in color. So, I feel like you guys got information about... So you guys were in a thinking state of, am I, it, 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 is this going to end something? And it's, it's like you guys received the messages from a book. You guys could be reading a lot or sending messages. Something that you were reading about while you were in this meditative state trying to gather information. Kind of, I'm kind of getting the, um, the hot, not the hierophant. Yeah, the, the uh, hermit card here. Like you, there was a cycle that you didn't want to end. But I feel like, yeah, there was definitely a choice you guys had to make about a path to end on the cycle. And I do see this is what I was looking for. I'm like, you guys cut it off. You guys made the decision to cut it off. It was something that was weighing you down that you didn't want to end. It could have been a commitment because the Hierophant card is here. But it looks like something was revealed to you as you were in this meditative state, as you were seeking answers. To bring balance back into your life, something, it could have been your guides that came down and directed a specific book towards you, because I do th see three stars here. These stars here reminds me of Aquarius, and this is for Aquarius, but I feel like you received information uh, through a book. Something was enlightened about your growing potential. You found out your growing potential, and you decided to embark on that journey, and she is walking towards this energy so it's like you're walking towards this high priestess energy you are choosing the mystical realm or the realm of what what best suits you again it, whatever this was you you cut it off you cut that weight off you're not allowing um something to come you whatever you was not ending you decided to cut it off you cut that rope you cut that weight you took one of these knives and decided to cut it and you could have been cutting out someone who was it could have been verbally abusive to you someone who uh you guys weren't on the same thought pattern it, or, or you just cut out a thought about something that you didn't want to end okay and so moving into august i feel like you guys are going to be embarking on this spiritual journey and it's going to be bringing balance into your life there's such a serene feeling and such a confidence about these cards here that says i'm bringing balance back into my life embarking on a journey that is suited for me as a goddess and that is beautiful this requires strength i think the decision that you made to cut someone off that you were holding on to uh, was not an easy decision but it's like you guys know where you belong it's like you put a lot of hard work into something um and you want to see everything come into fruition yeah so you're like i'm going to embark on this journey okay you guys definitely could have cut off someone you love. Someone that you love that was not showing emotions here. But again, I see you guys moving forward. 
on a tag of enlightenment, you know, going deeper into your gifts, okay? Gathering more information, be, uh, being um, the empress, I would say, uh, giving commands to yourself, uh, disciplining yourself, being strict with yourself, disciplined with yourself. So the signs that are currently here sticking out is the Pisces. Uh, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Libra, um, Gemini. And we also have Scorpio's energy here. Um, definitely could have been dealing with a fire sign as well. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Okay, what... Let's see, what does, what's going on? What path are they going to be going on? Give me information about the current path, direction that Aquarius is going in. In August, yeah. Give me information about the current path, the journey that Aquarius is embarking on. Unknown territory. Didn't I just say that? Oh my God, that is beautiful. And that one flipped over. You are exactly where you need to be. What did I say? Intuitively, you felt like you had to cut off something, even though you really didn't know. It is, it's an unknown journey of where you're going. I literally said that. Unknown. T I cannot make this up. I, I cannot make this up. <laughs> Funny. I cannot, I cannot make this up. All right, final advice for Aquarius. Final advice for Aquarius. Final advice for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Venus, Jupiter for August. What advice do we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising? What advice do we have? And this is general, so take it how it resonates. Don't let your pride get in your way. Okay. I do feel like whatever it is that you decided to embark on, that you did it with a lot of pride. I do feel like you cut someone off. It was like, hmm. But it's like as you embark on your journey that you feel like it's going to empower you. Make sure that you're not trying to be like, oh, I'm on this journey. Or I'm on this path. Or my path is better than yours. I like to say that because a lot of spiritual people do feel like they're better. I'm Aquarius and I'm on a spiritual journey. So this does resonate a lot with me as well. And a lot of people used to you are used to using the spirituality as a weapon. My mouth is dry. So what I'm seeing here is as you embark on your journey, make sure you stay graceful. You know, not over boisterous or letting anyone sh overshadow your talents or your spiritual abilities, but just walking on the path with confidence, okay? I do see that. And it says, hold your vision. And I do see that this person is holding their vision and they're going after it, right? She's literally holding her vision in her head. And she's going after that vision that she's holding in her hand. So that is, that's really, really beautiful. Thank you so much for um, watching. If it resonates, please like, subscribe, and share. Um, it, I'm so happy to have you as a community member. Peace.